नमस्ते वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग टेक्निक्स कोर्स इन दिस वीडियो विल इम्प्लीमेंट डिसीजन ट्री फॉर क्लासिफिकेशन विथ आई डी थ्री अलगर्दम एज यू नो डिसीजन ट्री इज आर पॉपुलर सुपरवाइज मशीन लर्निंग अलगर्दम्स दैट कैन बी यूज फॉर बोथ क्लासिफिकेशन एंड रिग्रेशन टास्क द ट्री इट सेल्फ इज अ मॉडल इन डिसीजन ट्री एंड वी वुड लाइक टू एस्टिमेट एन ऑप्टिमल ट्री स्ट्रक्चर फ्रॉम द गिवन ट्रेनिंग डेटा The internal nodes in the tree contains conditions on features. Depending on the outcome of the comparison, we take an appropriate path in the tree. The process is repeated until we reach a leaf node. In case of classification, leaf nodes contain label and in case of regression, the prediction is obtained by taking sample mean of labels of the subset of training examples present in that leaf node. Let us start by importing basic Python libraries like NumPy and Pandas. EPS is the smallest representable number in float. At times when we get log 0 or 0 in the denominator, to avoid that, we are going to use this EPS. In this case, we will use a synthetic dataset for demonstrating decision tree for classification task. Specifically, we are going to use play tennis dataset that we used in the slides. We load the dataset and check its shape. There are 14 examples in the dataset and each example has got 4 features and a label. And these are 14 rows or 14 examples in the dataset. The 4 features include outlook, temperature, humidity and wind condition and play is the target column and we know that the target is a binary target it has got two values yes and no 9 out of 14 examples have label yes and remaining 5 examples have label no now as a first step we calculate entropy of the whole data set so we implement the formula for calculating entropy and that formula is implemented in these two lines. We iterate on the values in the data set and calculate the overall entropy. The overall entropy of the data set comes out to be 0.94. Then we calculate entropy for each attribute and we need the entropy of each attribute in order to find out the information gain that we can obtain by selecting that attribute at the node to take the decision or to decide on the split. So we perform that calculation over, over here in this particular loop where we look at the, the individual values or unique values in the attribute and then calculate entropy for that particular attribute. After calculating entropy for the attribute we found that for outlook the entropy is 0.69 for temperature it is 0.91 for humidity it is 0.78 and for windy it is 0.89 then we write a function to find the best attribute by first computing the information gain for each of the attribute so we already calculated the entropy of the whole data set and we have calculated entropy of individual attribute. We, we make use of these two values to find out the information gain for the attribute. And based on information gain, we select the best attribute and best attribute in this case turns out to be outlook. And the final function in this, in this implementation is building of the tree itself. So tree building happens in recursive manner. To begin with, we, we select an attribute where we divide tree into, into n parts or into number of parts equal to the number of unique values of that particular attribute. Then for each subtree, it's again a brand new tree construction problem in the subset of data that is there in that particular node. So in that sense, build tree is a recursive function. We first find the best attribute to divide and then what we do is we call the build tree function recursively. 
we stop whenever we get pure subsets. So we call the build tree function on our training dataset and we obtain the tree which has got outlook at the root node. And there are three subtrees. In one subtree, the value of overcast, whenever the value is overcast, play tennis is equal to yes. If the value is rainy, then there is a there is another subtree, and for value equal to sunny, there is there is one more subtree over here. In the rainy subtree, we first check the windy condition. If it is false, then play tennis is equal to yes, and if it is true, play tennis is equal to no. And if the outlook is sunny, we check the humidity, and if humidity is is high then it's no for play tennis and if humidity is normal then it is yes for play tennis. So this is the tree that we built by using our build tree function that we have implemented in this collab over here. So id3 in its pure form performs no backtracking in its search. Once it selects an attribute to test at a particular level in the tree, it never backtracks to reconsider this choice. Therefore, it is susceptible to usual risk of hill climbing search without backtracking. It converges to locally optimal solutions that may not be globally optimal. So in this video, we implemented decision tree, the ID3 algorithm for training the decision tree. We specifically implemented functions for calculating entropy of the whole dataset as well as at the attribute level. We also wrote a function to calculate the information gain and then select the best attribute for the split in the tree. Then we implement a recursive build tree function that builds tree from a given training set. Hope this gives you an idea as to how to implement ID3 algorithm for training the decision tree. As an exercise, I would ask you to implement the card decision tree training algorithm.